It's capable of over 100 tons to orbit, fully reused. 100 tons to orbit. That's an extraordinary achievement that only one rocket in history, the legendary Saturn V, has ever managed to accomplish. For decades, it stood as the pinnacle of human engineering and ambition. But now, that milestone may soon be broken by Starship, and not just matched, but surpassed on a far higher level with full reusability. This is the bold script Musk has envisioned for Starship by 2027, where rockets will not only reach orbit with record-breaking payloads, but will also return to fly again. The question now is how SpaceX will make this a reality and what steps they'll take to prepare for such a mission. Let's find out together on today's episode of Great SpaceX. It can be said that after many tests, the success of Flight 10 has given SpaceX greater confidence in pursuing its next ambitious plans. This achievement is not just another milestone, but a critical turning point that demonstrates the company's ability to refine technology, overcome setbacks, and prepare for even bigger goals. According to Musk, SpaceX will transition to the V3 version of Starship starting next year. In the most recent update, Musk confirmed that V3 will have the capacity to deliver at least 100 tons to orbit, perhaps even more. This raises the pressing question, when will this capability become a reality? The answer came on September 9th during the All In Summit, where Musk confidently stated that... Unless we have some, unless we have some very major setbacks, uh, SpaceX will demonstrate... Uh, full reusability next year, uh, catching both the booster and the ship, um, and being able to deliver over 100 tons to a useful orbit. There are strong reasons to believe in this ambitious schedule. First, SpaceX's roadmap is clearly structured. V3 operations will begin later this year and continue into 2026, while V4 is expected to arrive around 2027. In order to stay on track, SpaceX must achieve the 100-ton milestone with V3 next year. This is not just a target, but a requirement to prove their claims and advance toward the next generation of Starship. Secondly, Flight 10 already demonstrated that SpaceX can deploy payloads with precision. During that mission, eight satellites were released smoothly into orbit, showing that the technique works reliably. Building on this success, SpaceX will gradually increase the challenge. In 2026, they are expected to push the limits by attempting payloads of up to 100 tons, beginning with test flights that may use dummy payloads before moving to real operational payloads such as Starlink V3 satellites. If successful, this would be revolutionary. No rocket in operation today is capable of matching such payloads. Falcon Heavy, which is currently the most powerful rocket in service, can reach only 63.8 tons when not reused. NASA's SLS is designed to carry 95 tons in its Block 1 configuration and 105 tons in Block 1B, but these numbers remain unproven. Importantly, both Falcon Heavy and SLS achieve their maximum payloads in expendable configurations, meaning the rockets cannot be reused. In contrast, SpaceX is attempting to reach and exceed 100 tons while keeping Starship fully reusable. This point cannot be overstated. For comparison, the legendary Saturn V of the Apollo era delivered incredible payloads but it was completely expendable. SpaceX is working toward a future where rockets of similar or even greater power can launch, land, and fly again. Musk has also emphasized that Starship, if flown in expendable mode, could add an extra 100 tons of payload capacity per version. That means achieving 100 tons is almost certain. The real challenge is to achieve it in reusable mode, which is central to SpaceX's long-term vision. Looking ahead, the evolution continues with V4. This version will not only grow larger, but also more powerful with a reusable capacity of up to 200 tons to orbit and potentially more if expended. This represents a leap in scale that will make today's record-setting rockets look small in comparison. The implications of such power are extraordinary. With Falcon 9, which can only deliver 17 to 22 tons to orbit, SpaceX has already accounted for around 90% of the global payload mass delivered into orbit in recent years. With Starship, these numbers will rise dramatically. The system will give SpaceX unmatched superiority in the orbital launch market and open new opportunities for missions that were once unimaginable. For SpaceX, the benefit 
benefits are direct and clear. Starship will allow for faster and more efficient deployment of satellites, especially the growing Starling constellation. It'll make construction and resupply of future space habitats or research stations much more feasible. It'll also serve as the foundation for interplanetary exploration, supporting refueling operations and transporting hundreds of tons of equipment to the moon or Mars. For other organizations, Starship offers equally exciting prospects. Its massive capacity will allow government agencies, private companies, and even smaller organizations to deploy payloads at lower costs and with greater flexibility. The rideshare model that SpaceX already applies with Falcon 9 could expand significantly, giving smaller players access to orbits that were once too expensive or too difficult to reach. In short, the potential of Starship is enormous, and we are just beginning to see it unfold. Starting with 100 tons to orbit in version V3 next year, SpaceX is preparing to redefine what rockets can do. The journey from here promises to be nothing short of extraordinary. Are you excited to see this insane capability become a reality? If so, reply, let's do it in the comments, like the video, and subscribe to our channel to keep following SpaceX's incredible development journey. Of course, SpaceX will need to overcome many challenges to achieve the remarkable milestone of delivering 100 tons to orbit. This target is far more ambitious than what we saw during Flight 10 or with any current vehicle in operation. The difficulty lies primarily in three factors, successfully achieving orbit, managing larger payloads with increasing complexity, and achieving full reusability. Each factor carries enormous technical challenges, and together they form one of the most ambitious engineering efforts in history. The first and perhaps most pressing challenge is achieving orbit. Despite several impressive demonstrations so far, Starship has not yet fully reached, reached orbital velocity. For example, Flight 10 deployed payloads at an altitude of 190 kilometers, which is still considered suborbital. While this was a critical step forward, it underscored that SpaceX still has to cross the threshold into true orbital flight. According to the current timeline, this may happen as early as Flight 13 in early 2026. Flights 11 and 12, including the first V3 flight, will likely remain suborbital for testing purposes. To break through to orbit, SpaceX must push the performance of both stages further than ever before, particularly the ship itself. Much of this progress will rely on the new Raptor 3 engines, which are expected to deliver improved power and efficiency. Reaching orbit is not just a symbolic milestone. It's essential for payload deployment, for validating Starship's role in global competition, and for demonstrating reliability against rivals like Blue Origin's New Glenn or ULA's Vulcan. Moreover, achieving orbit allows SpaceX to test critical recovery techniques by bringing the ship back to the launch site after completing its mission. Without orbital capability, Starship cannot truly compete or fulfill its long-term mission goals. The second major milestone lies in payload capacity. During Flight 10, SpaceX launched dummy payloads designed to simulate the shape and mass of Starlink V3 satellites. Each simulated payload weighed about 2 tons, meaning the mission carried roughly 16 tons in total. Total. That was an impressive demonstration, but to reach 100 tons, SpaceX will need to scale this up dramatically. At least 50 payloads of similar size will have to be carried in a single launch. This creates difficulties not only in terms of mass, but also in arranging the payloads within the cargo bay and ensuring they can be safely and precisely deployed. Furthermore, the payloads on future flights will not always be dummy simulations. Real payloads, potentially including operational satellites, will eventually be aboard. When that happens, every single step of the mission will need to be executed with extreme care. From launch to separation to deployment, the margin for error will shrink dramatically. Any mistakes could risk millions of dollars worth of equipment and disrupt critical services. The transition from test payloads to operational payloads represents a critical leap in complexity that SpaceX must navigate flawlessly. The third and arguably most difficult challenge is full reusability. Unlike Falcon 9, which only recovers and reuses its first stage, Starship must bring back both the Super Heavy Booster and the ship itself. This is far more complex because the ship will have already traveled into orbit and deployed its payload before returning to Earth. The conditions it must survive are extreme, particularly during re-entry, which subjects it to searing heat and intense aerodynamic stress. 
So far, SpaceX has reason to be confident in the booster's recovery. The Super Heavy has successfully landed three times, proving that the enormous stage can be controlled and brought back safely. However, even with the booster, challenges remain, such as ensuring consistent engine performance and handling difficult landings at higher angles of attack. If the ship can survive re-entry, the next step is perhaps just as difficult, returning precisely to the launch tower and being caught by the chopsticks. This maneuver demands absolute precision, both in navigation and timing. Any mistake could result in catastrophic damage to the launch site. While SpaceX demonstrated controlled ship landing during Flight 10, combining that skill with a flawless orbital return and chopstick catch will be an immense leap forward. Upcoming flights will give SpaceX opportunities to refine these systems. Flight 11 will continue many of the objectives of Flight 10 despite still using an earlier version of the vehicle. The lessons learned will directly shape the first V3 flights. Notably, Flight 11 will also introduce an upgrade to to the heat shield system by using crunch wraps to fill small gaps between tiles. These adjustments show how SpaceX is actively learning and applying solutions from each test. The debut of V3, expected with Flight 12, will mark a radical redesign of the rocket. Musk has already cautioned that pretty much everything changes on the rocket with version 3, and he has acknowledged that there may be some initial teething pains because of the scale of the changes. However, once these initial challenges are overcome, the path will open to flights that attempt orbit, flights that test booster and ship recovery together, and eventually the missions that will attempt to deliver the full 100-ton payload to orbit. Clearly, many factors must come together for this ambitious vision to succeed. Achieving orbit, handling massive payloads, and mastering full reusability are challenges that no company has ever solved before. Yet, if SpaceX can overcome them, the rewards will redefine spaceflight. The journey will not be easy, but with each flight, SpaceX comes closer to achieving one of the most extraordinary milestones in aerospace history. It's safe to say that the prospect of a rocket capable of delivering 100 tons into orbit is closer than ever before. Yet the path to achieving that goal will not be simple, as numerous technical and operational challenges must first be solved. Success will only come once each of those obstacles is overcome. Still, SpaceX can remain confident in the remarkable progress it has already made and the clear roadmap it has set. The miracle once achieved by the Saturn V is ready to be repeated, but this time on an even greater scale. Starship stands poised to affirm its position as the new leader of the aerospace industry, carrying humanity into a future once thought impossible. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.